Hi everybody, I'm Evan and I'm coming at you from Marbles Kids Museum and I'm here with your daily dose of play. Right now I am on the Blue Marble, which is actually the first exhibit ever made at Marbles Kids Museum. And on the Blue Marble, our guests love doing imaginative play like they're pirates or they're sailing the seven seas or they're running from erupting volcanoes. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to do a volcano activity in your very own home with materials that you probably already have. All right, so all you're gonna need is a plastic container, just like this, some food dye, dish soap, vinegar, baking soda, and water. And don't forget, safety first, our safety goggles. All right, so the first step in making this volcano is taking our food dye and putting it in our container, just like this. Just a couple drops will do. I'm doing pink and orange but you don't have to use food dye if you don't want to. I just like doing it, it kind of looks like lava. If you don't have any food dye at home, what you can use instead is maybe Kool-Aid or cocoa powder or anything that is a powder that might mix into another color. So the first step is done. Our dye is in our container. Next up, we need 3 fourths cup of water. Now you want this water to be hot, but not so hot that you burn yourself. So maybe put it in the microwave or ask a parent to help you get hot water. So we're gonna pour that right inside of here. It'll look like it's gonna fill up most of it and that's okay, but that's our second step is water. Our next step is getting baking soda. And we need two tablespoons of baking soda. So I have a tablespoon right here and I'm gonna get two nice scoops of this right here. One, two, all right, perfect. So that's in there, I might give it a little bit of a mix to help it dissolve a little bit, all right. Now, after baking soda, what we wanna add is our dish soap. So we only need a couple drops of dish soap. So I've got the big container here, you might wanna use a smaller one in case you spill. But you're gonna be very careful to drop just a couple drops of dish soap right in there, like that. And I might give it another mix, just to make sure it's all mixing together. Because we want our volcano to erupt as big as we possibly can. All right. So adding the soap is what gives our lava all the bubbles. It's gonna help it become a really cool lava flow. And we're gonna see what happens next when we add our final ingredient, vinegar. So we're gonna add the vinegar now and see what happens to our volcano. I made a small volcano to go around my other cup here out of Play-Doh that we just had lying around. You can use all kinds of materials that you might have to make a volcano, paper mache, clay, anything. So I'm gonna show you those two volcanic eruptions now. And the last step is to add the vinegar. So. We're gonna do the one that doesn't look like a volcano first, and we'll see what happens. Make sure you have it on a tray so that when the lava comes out, it spills uh, in an easy to clean up way. All right, let's see. Whoa! <laughs> Whew, the lava's flowing everywhere. This might spill. Is it gonna spill? Is it gonna spill? We were safe. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup before I do this next one, so stay tuned. All right, after a little bit of cleanup, we're gonna try that one more time. So, we take our vinegar and very carefully add it to our mixture. <laughs> it almost got me there. Oh, and we're gonna get a little bit of spillage. Okay, I think we're safe. We made it away from the volcano just in time. So what we saw here was a chemical reaction. When we added the vinegar, that started the chemical reaction with all of the other materials that we had added, and it started to produce carbon dioxide gas. And that's what caused that really cool lava flow that almost got me. All right guys, that was your daily dose of play with your do-it-yourself volcano. Please be sure to send us pictures and videos of the volcanoes you guys make at home or any of the science activities you do at Marbles Kids Museum on social media. We'd love to see how you guys are playing. See you next time.